Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to World War II In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Toggle Action Shotgun, better known as the Brecky 2.0 in World War II. It is the spam shotgun in this game, but unlike the old Brecky, this one can spam incendiary shells your way and set your whole team on fire. I find it kind of annoying to play against, but I found it equally frustrating to use in this game, perhaps even more so than the double-barreled shotgun. We're going to answer the question you want to know about first, which is if it can one-shot kill in the damage ranges, and the answer is surprisingly yes it can one shot kill i'll show you the range in just a little bit but the initial damage is 84 up close 40 at medium range and 26 at maximum range which means that given some of the pellet bonus damages it can kill between one and four shots it can be a one shot kill two three or even four at long ranges so consistency isn't exactly this weapon's strong suit the pellet damage is 2 at all ranges, and the maximum pellet bonus damage is 16, which means if you are up close and you hit all of your pellets, you can one-shot kill people, and it means that your bonus damage for hitting all of your pellets at long ranges is kind of nice, but overall it is a very low damage shotgun. This is the maximum one-shot kill range on the Brecky, which, oh my bad, not the Brecky, the toggle action. See what my brain is just on Black Ops 3 on the Brecky again. But you have to be so close, you basically make them suck on the end of the barrel to get a one-shot kill. You have to be close enough to smell the guy's aftershave or to be able to reach out and just give him a little tap on the shoulder. It is barrel stuffing range, but it can be done. However, I think you should expect a lot of two to three shot kills. That's really what the Brecky does best, mostly two shot kills sometimes three and if you're getting four shot kills the enemies are too far away and you are not using this weapon properly I kind of don't like the incendiary shells either they do add a little bit of extra total damage but they decrease the range and I find that the total damage that they add rarely increases or sorry decreases the amount of shots that I need to kill so if I'm running incendiary shells I'm really not getting any more one shot kills and I'm not really getting any more two shot kills and maybe at very long ranges it'll turn a four shot kill into a three shot kill but is that really worth it and my answer is no this weapon does however have a fantastic rate of fire at 350 rounds per minute rapid fire will take you up to 375 which isn't too bad but i'll end up recommending it later on and thankfully this is semi-automatic now the luftwaffe drilling and the sawed off double barrel are both semi-automatic but with only two shells there's only so much semi to that automatic this one actually has a magazine that you can use the spam shots downstream and reload with so this is probably the only true semi-auto in the game and that rate of fire is a godsend obviously it's designed to be a spam rifle you hear that a few more times in this episode but that's what it's all about it does do something very neat though when you aim down sights you get an actual slug of 16 damage which is unfortunate because the hip fire spread reduction is so tiny i think they actually set it to zero so that all eight pellets come out in a nice perfect little line i mean the combat shotgun and the drilling and the double barrel all tighten up pretty much but this one makes all six of your bullets pinpoint accurate if i had a red dot sight on and shot the wall it would look like i shot once but unfortunately all eight of them combined are 16 damage so that's not very much in the way of bonus and in my opinion it's really not worth your time to aim down sights and try and get that bonus damage when just hip firing and running all over the place and spamming is easier and spamming just makes more sense than aiming on this weapon because with this weapon you can't get one shot kills but what you're really relying on is just being able to dump bullets downstream while outmaneuvering your enemy and therefore getting two and three shot kills thus optical attachments are kind of wasted on the toggle action i really wanted to recommend a red dot sight and say it would be great to you know take advantage of that sort of slug you get but the damage bonus is just so weak i don't think it's a good idea hip fire is the best but maybe not with steady aim which is a very unusual thing i ran into on every other shotgun in the game steady aim is the attachment that you need because it tightens your hip fire spread and makes it a better shotgun unfortunately with this weapon the base damage is low and the pellet damage isn't super impressive either and the ranges at which you really get more or less shots to kill aren't very uh, significant, and they're pretty tight. So why would I run steady aim and require myself to aim a little bit more? I think it's better to not run steady aim and have a very generous wide hip fire spread so that you can spin really quickly, so that you can spray inaccurately, and so that you have to be less precise. I found myself occasionally getting really close to enemies when I was running steady aim and having to aim a little bit more precisely than I wanted to while we're all kind of running 
and sliding and bouncing around, where if I didn't have steady aim, I could spray and let the hip fire on the periphery hit them. So I find this one better without steady aim and just relying on the bonus damage from the shots. Magazine size is six and extended mags is nine. This is definitely a godsend. This is very helpful. I wish the base magazine were a little bit bigger because unfortunately it takes so many shots to kill but when I put extended mags on there I find that I have more than enough to kill a couple people before reloading or enough to take on another uh, full enemy squad with some uh, generous spraying. Advanced rifling's usefulness is also debatable. I like running this on the shotguns because it extends the one-shot kill potential especially in that medium to long-range engagement and it gets me more long-range one-shot kills but the damage at range with this shotgun is so pitiful it's not really hurting them very much and the range bonus that I get from advanced rifling in that medium kind of one-shot kill isn't very good because the base range is so low so running this it helps but how much does it help and in my opinion not very much I think the toggle action is best used off of class and in hardcore modes. So I've been kind of downplaying this weapon and it is a little bit frustrating for me to use, but in hardcore mode, this is the shotgun to use. This is one of the top weapons you see in hardcore mode because most of the time it's gonna one-shot kill people. It has a very wide, generous hip spread and you can just run around doof, doof, doof and delete people. And I think it's probably the best shotgun in hardcore mode. I'd probably put it like a top five weapon in hardcore. Of note, if you're doing the uh, diamond or chrome challenges, hardcore is where you're gonna get all of your one-shot kills with this particular weapon anyway. That's hard hardcore though. There's a lot of weapons that aren't super great in core that function very well in hardcore because you can die in one shot and I really wouldn't recommend the toggle action for core modes. I believe that it is outperformed by the combat shotgun and I believe it's also outperformed by the Luftwaffe drilling and possibly even by the new sawed off. I really liked this weapon when it first came out. I think I was just emotionally attached to it because of how awesome the Brecky was from Black Ops 3 but at the end of the day I just wasn't super feeling it after in depth. It felt kind of like a chore. It felt that like submachine guns were outperforming me specifically the PPSH that the combat shotgun was outperforming me and mathematically speaking that's really true most of the other weapons do outperform this one this one is just very easy to use so if you are gonna run it for pubs I'm gonna recommend running it off class in the airborne division running extended mags rapid fire and shifty of all things which is kind of fun so airborne you get all of your speed perks and you're zipping all over the map very fast extended mags and rapid fire make sense you just shoot faster and you get more bullets to shoot because steady aim and advanced rifling and quick draw and aiming down sights and none of those are particularly useful. The new shifty perk that you get for prestiging the resistance division is very fun because you get additional pistol attachments. So when you're done spamming, you can break out your pistol, which can be very, very beneficial in this game, especially if it's the new uh, nine millimeter or the good old machine pistol and then you can swap back and if you you don't even have to reload on this one because you get unlimited pistol ammo so you can just always have that sort of ace in the hole pistol ready to draw and oddly enough i think that this one could actually be used in hard point and ranked play if you're brave as much as I talk about it underperforming and being beaten by submachine guns, I have seen some people break this thing out and use it to hold hills and kind of crush down some really close range choke points just like the Brecky. And I think that's one of the reasons that the pros gentlemen's agreement this one because it can be really frustrating in a few situations in a few maps, but the submachine gun will probably give you a lot more utility. Guys, that is all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out. If you want all the weapon stats for World War II in your pocket to go, then look no further than the Ultimate Utility app by Brass Monkey. It's available on iOS and Android. There are links in the description, or you can just search for it in the App Store.